How's it going everybody? Today I'm working on a 2017 Isuzu NPR and I'm replacing the rotors, calipers, and pads on the front. I'm about halfway through it and I wanted to uh, make my own version of the rebuild, show you all the proper torque specs and the way I put everything back together. There's plenty of videos on how to tear the tear the front hubs down, replace pads, etc. I just wanted to show you all the proper torque specs and the way that the repair manual tells you to put everything back together so um, I want to jump straight into it so let's get started I've already got the new rotor bolted on um, whenever you get this all taken off there's an ABS ring that blocks these 12 uh, bolts but this T55 socket takes these 12 bolts off and whenever you put them back on, uh, tighten them in a star pattern and you're gonna torque these to 76 foot pounds. In the repair manual, it doesn't say you need to put any type of Loctite on there, but I put a medium strength Loctite, a blue Loctite. And then whenever you go to put your ABS ring back on, I just use a small chisel and a ball peen hammer and just hit with my chisel right here on this double lip where it's a little bit reinforced. If you start hitting out here, you could damage your wind gap and trip your ABS light. Anytime I'm gonna replace rotors, I go ahead and get the new ABS rings. I've tried to save them in the past and reuse them and it's like a 50-50 chance. You can lightly heat it with the torch. You know, there's maybe little tricks of the trade that you can do to try and save them but you're rolling the dice on whether or not the ABS light's going to come on or not because there's a very small threshold of wind gap that you can just get it off just a little bit and that sensor will trip the ABS light but putting that new ring in all I'll do is get it centered up like so and just hit it on this lip right here and just bounce around and I'm always very careful and take my time when I'm doing this. That way I don't slip off and hit down here. But you'll just keep doing this. And whenever you bottom out, you'll hear a difference in tone whenever you get the ABS ring seated fully on there. You can listen for the tone to change whenever you're hammering the ABS ring back on. You can also look through this little hole right here and see if your ring's seated all the way down onto the lip. It should look like this. Now that you've got your rotor bolted on and your ABS ring installed, your next step is going to be to install your inner bearing. I've already got them packed with a high temp grease. Drop it right down in the race. Get your new grease seal and whatever tool you use to install your seal. I have a homemade one here that I inherited. Works really well. You can just go around, make sure it's flush. And then the back side's done. You're ready to take it over to the truck and start putting your outer bearing on and the rest of your components. Now that you've got it back over to the truck, um, there's one more step I left out on the back here. You've got a spindle sleeve and basically what this does is it increases the life of your grease seal. Gives it a smooth surface to ride on and this is non-corrosive and that just sits right in the center there. Right like that. And then I'm going to pan over right here, and you can see on my spindle, I have a good layer of grease. What that does is that keeps the grease in either bearing from slinging out into the middle of your hub. You have a layer connecting both bearings, and you're ready to put this hub on the spindle. Once you go to put your hub on, make sure you have all your outer components in reach you only want to have to pick this up one time and once you get it on the 
spindle you're gonna have your hands full so just make sure everything that you need is right here close by what you do is feed the hub on over the layer of grease you put on your spindle and then I just rest my hand right here at the 12 o'clock position take my outer bearing get it seated on there and then next you get your washer and if it doesn't want to seat on there all the way you can help it with a little bit with that castle nut mine was a little bit in a bind but i just thread this castle nut on there and it it finds where it lives um, don't try and force any of this. If something doesn't feel right, then you're probably not doing something right. But just continue to thread this castle nut on by hand until it starts getting snug. And then you don't have to hold on to anything else. All that's left is your cotter pin and your cap. But you wanna make sure that you adjust your preload on this castle nut the right way whenever you torque this castle nut you're going to want to get this 41 millimeter inch and 5 8 socket that you use to take the lug nuts off with and you're going to torque it down initially to 81 foot pounds that's going to get everything seated and then you need to spin the hub three times in the forward direction. And then loosen your castle nut a quarter turn, loosen it 90 degrees. And then finally, you can take your torque wrench, dial it down to 11 foot pounds And that's it. If your cotter pin doesn't line up, you can back it off just a hair and put your cotter pin through. After you got your castle nut, uh, cotter pin, and your cap on, you're done completely rebuilding your hubs. Uh, they put a oil coating on these new rotors to keep them from rusting on the shelf. Just want to get all that off. Our next step is gonna be uh, putting our caliper bracket on. And these two caliper bracket bolts, you're gonna to torque down to 163 foot-pounds. You just grab your caliper bracket. I like to kind of stage my brake pads before I put my caliper bracket on you can do it after the fact I just prefer to do it I feel like it makes it a little easier I put a very small amount of uh, medium strength Loctite on that caliper bracket bolt like I said just a minute ago you're gonna torque these down to 163 foot-pounds using a 22 millimeter socket. Now that you got your bracket torqued down, you can go ahead and pull these uh, guide pins out. And what you need to do is just wipe all this old grease off here. If this thing's rusted or seized up, you may need to polish it, the wire wheel, put some fresh grease on it. I'm just using some braking caliper grease. This step right here is very, very, very important. No matter whether you're working on a Isuzu, 
or your own car, your own truck. A lot of people will just pad slap a vehicle. This will double the lifespan of your brake pads if these are in working condition. These need to be moving back and forth with no restrictions. You may notice your bottom one has a little rubber gasket on there and that's to protect the barrel because the lower bolt is carrying most of the weight. Just wipe this grease off. Give it a nice fresh coat. And I've got new brake calipers. As you can see, the dust boots have completely melted off of these. The rotors got so hot they were cracked all the way through. But now your bracket is ready for the caliper. Another tip I can give you is whenever you're replacing brake calipers, leave your hose on your old one. I got these little hooks off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below in the description. But go ahead and get your new caliper put on before you take your hose off. It'll be less time you're dripping fluid, less time you have the system open. And it's just way easier all around if you just go ahead and bolt up your new brake caliper and swap your hose after the fact. These two caliper bolts, we're gonna to torque these to 92 foot-pounds. That's pretty much the gist of how I rebuild a hub. Uh, those caliper bolts, like I said, you torque those to 92 foot-pounds and that's a 17 millimeter socket. The brake hose banjo bolt head is also a 17 millimeter socket. And remember whenever you transfer your line over to replace your copper washers, uh, so you don't have any leaks down the road. And when you torque that banjo bolt down, torque it to 25 foot pounds. I hope this helped you all. And if you like my videos, hit the like and subscribe button and you'll have a great day.